Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at Red Dragon Archfiend Scar Right. So, if you guys do not know, I'm going to be talking about a little bit more about the the Arc 5 or the Arc B. Um, they went to the Synchro Dimension and in the Synchro Dimension, it's like a it's like a different dimension of 5D. So, you know, they, they have Crow and they have Jack. There's no, there's no Yusei. I think maybe... Maybe uh, Yugo is like the Yusei of their world, but yeah, there's just another Jack Atlas, but it's not the same Jack Atlas as 5D because it's a different dimension, and of course, because it's a different Jack Atlas, he has a different Red Dragon Archfiend, so we're going to go ahead and look at this card and determine whether it's good as Red Dragon Archfiend or even the better counterpart, Hot Red. So, uh, it is a Dark Dragon Synchro effect monster, level 8, has 3000 attack and 2500 defense, so... Stats are nice and powerful. There is no compl there's never been any complaints from a, a Red Dragon Archfiend stat. That's, that's never been the complaints. Just its effect was kind of meh. Yeah. So uh, hopefully this effect stacks up a little bit better. So it is generic. So one tuner and one or more non tuner monsters. So I can make it in Super Vice. Yeah. <laughs> this card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while on the field or in the graveyard. So just in case you play something that involves, uh, you know, Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, just because this, he has Scar right in his name, that won't change anything. He's still Red Dragon Irish Fiend. Alright. So, the effect now. Once per turn, you can destroy as many special summon monsters on the field with attack less than or equal to this card's attack as possible, other than this card. Then for 500 damage to opponent for each monster destroyed. Ooh! The power! You know, Red Dragon Irish Fiend's always been that kind of butt that likes to kill lots of things. It's just like, hey... Red Dragon Archery destroy all the defense position. Once it's hot red, I'll destroy everything in attack position, you know? But this is just like, you know what? Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to destroy as many special summon monsters in the field. And as long as their attack is less than mine, I'll go ahead and kill them. And this thing's a 3,000 beater. I mean, there's, there's probably going to be some special summon monsters in the field with attack uh, less than this. Go ahead and kill them. And flip 500 damage to your opponent for each. And this card can still attack. And others can attack. So, of course... What we're going to be doing is comparing Hot Red versus this. So, Hot Red versus Scar Right. So, Hot Red destroys the attack position monsters. Just blah, wipes them, you know, except for himself, right? And then he's the only one that can attack. So, even if, you know, you have like a Beals on the field, you know, yeah, sure, Beals would survive the wipe, but it wouldn't get to attack this turn. All right, all right. And you don't, you're not doing that addition damage. But it's attack position monsters, but... Hot Red doesn't care if they're special summoned or not. No, Hot Red is just like, yeah, let me go ahead and destroy them. Hot Red, let me let me look at Hot Red Dra Dragon Archfiend again. Yeah, it's just attack position monsters. Yep, just destroy all other face-up attack position monsters on the field, and then monsters other than this card cannot attack during the turn you activate this effect. So, that's Hot Red. But you guys already know about Hot Red. This, on the other hand, this destroys just special summon monsters. So, uh, generally, when your opponent special summons a monster, it's going to be in attack mode, especially since, you know, Castell exists. If it was, if it was just one on one and Castell never came out, then maybe you see a little bit more monster summon defense mode. So, when you're, you know, your opponent can't one on one you, but generally, you now it doesn't even matter. So, you know, when it's still summon attack position, then you go ahead and summon this and destroy as many special summon monsters in the field with attack less than or equal to this card as. You know, as possible, like I said, it's a 3,000 meter, and inflict uh, 500 damage to a opponent for each. This card can still attack, and any monsters that, you know, survive the wipe can still attack. So, you know, you can go ahead, if you haven't used your normal summon, normal summon something, and then get some more damage. And so, the difference with this is, of course, special summon monsters on the field. So, you know, while I can, with Hot Red, I can have, like, I could turn my scrap dragon to defense mode, wipe it, and then, you know, later go ahead and turn it back to attack mode. Or, hey, let's say, you know, last turn I have it in defense mode, you can kill it, I summoned uh, Hot Red, wipe your field, turn it to attack mode, and but I still can't attack, you know, with the other monsters. This on the other hand, this wants to make sure that you're not doing something sacky because it's going to destroy special summon monsters. So, uh, you know, really, unless you special summon more after this, it's going to go ahead and wipe special monsters, including your own, but the opponent's still going to take 500 damage for each monster destroyed. So even if you go ahead and destroy 
all your special summon monsters and all their special summon monsters, they're going to be taking a nice chunk, you know. Let's say, for example, you're going against Kleez and they go ahead and pendulum summon all five monsters. All right. So, you can go ahead and summon this, wipe their field. They're going to take minimum 25 because that's not even counting your special summon monster. And then you get to go ahead and slap them in the face for 3,000 as well. So, uh, overall, it's just a really, really good card, you know. Uh, you know, I really, I'd have to put it in the boat with one over one versus Castell, where sometimes it's better to one on one the monster, or sometimes it's better to Castell the monster. But you know they're both doing their job and they're both doing it right. Same thing with this and Hot Red. So I'd say if you have room in your extra deck, I'd go ahead and throw one of these in here because it's nice just to go ahead and just be able to uh, destroy all the special summon monsters uh, with Attack or Last Edition and fuck your opponent for five hundred. I'd say. Uh, uh, it's hard. It's hard to debate because they sometimes they're the, they're the same exact thing, you know. Because really, what is what does Hot have over this? Uh, it can destroy uh, monsters and type positions that weren't special summoned. So, but I I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably have to say this one's better than Hot. I'd say this one's better than Hot because not only get do you get to destroy many special summoned monsters. With attack less than this, which of course, once again, three thousand. That's the tie, you know. With it and uh, flip your opponent for five hundred, but then this can still attack, and any monster that you summon after this can still attack as well. So, uh, yeah, I'd have to say, I'd have to say that this is better than hot, and it only gets better, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So, tell me what you guys think is better. Do you think that Scar Red is better or Hot Red is better? And, and you know, I'm trying to think, but I, I'd have to, I'd have to give it to Scar right in the end, you know. So, uh, yeah, as soon as it comes out in the TCG, go ahead and throw one of them in your extra deck if you can go ahead and sync 8 and use this power. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.